And what is up my geeks, my name is Joy Rider. welcome to another video, hope you guys are doing great right now. So yeah, uh, no, this is not like a, you know, a different video or whatever you think it is, but no. This is actually some discussions I wanted to talk about, you know, things that we need to know about 2.2 once it's come out and things like that. So yeah, a lot of new discussions and things have been shared into the Geometry Dash Discord server. You know, a, a, you know, some images and videos were actually shared, a, 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 you know, a couple of few months ago. So yeah, so I wanted to share them with you guys because I know that some people never actually seen these images or either of these little sneak peeks or whatever they had because I know that most people are not um, into the Geometry Dash Discord server. Now I know that most people have seen these images and clips but you know since like I said most people have never seen them but you know if, you, if you're one of those people that have never seen any of these or you're not into the Geometry Dash Discord server like I said let me show you some pictures. First image I'm going to be showing you is this new um, icon you know that Rob that Rob Tab has did like this discord icon that looks pretty cool to be exact it looks pretty cool and you can actually see some things that we could actually see for example this color palette section which is you know to click select any other colors what's well, so I'll, well, I'll talk about that a little bit you know once we get further and you know now these dots bottom of the where the, the where the icons are it's actually something that i really do not know what it was but some people say it's like a like a quick navigation to you know to you know for icons you know it would be a lot easier if instead of just clicking the arrow you know for a bunch of times and i just kind of hated that but you know since this is actually a really cool feature i would say it's really really useful feature and you know the discord icon says that wrapped up it says that you could actually unlock this icon when when, when you're joining the official geometry as discord server which is actually pretty cool now for some reason i really don't understand why there's two uh two spider sections it's a little weird because i think rob to actually uh mislead the image and you know it was actually supposed to be for a swing copter mode but yeah now second image is actually the color palette section you know to choose any other different colors and i know that some of them are not like free i thought it was like free but no it's actually you have to something that you have to unlock in order to get these these new brand new colors on the this new color palette uh first of all yeah there's actually some new icons and things like that and second of all there's actually um there's a uh, new glow to change the 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 glow color as well which is actually pretty unique but at the same time i nah, i don't prefer using the glow because you know i don't use the glow in my icons that's why i look like that but it's something that into my icons but yeah this is actually very similar of changing the you know when you, once you go to the the gd call in website the medial core it's actually you can actually change the third the, the the color of the glow and you could actually use any of your icons colors or whatever they have but yeah this is actually we have the the default um swing copter as you can see and some other new icons like this ufo which is actually pretty new and the discord icon that we saw right now um yeah this actually this idea was actually brought to somebody else if i'm correct i don't i don't remember and, and seems i think seems that rob top likes this idea um i would say it's a pretty cool idea you know there's a lot of different um gray scale of this for example we can see the white and the gray and stuff like that the purple blue green lime or whatever they have it's actually pretty cool to be honest by the way the fact that i said a grayscale is supposed to be called monochrome so i was very stupid i'm very sorry now and to be honest i thought we were gonna have like some sort of like hue like you know like the circle that we have like in the editor as well well the level editor but i thought we were gonna have a hue but it looks like this is actually a really cool palette um hue and you have a different sections of whatever family of their colors and it's actually really fascinated to separate any other different colors but if you think that's it right now, no. Roftop himself claims to say that we will have a total of 700 colors in 2.2. Wow. The fact when Roftop shared this image onto Discord server, he asked everybody if there was actually too much colors. And yeah, it's actually way too many colors. And by the way, in my opinion, this is actually really cool at the same time. But at the same time, there's some colors that actually looks the same, to be honest. They actually look the same. I don't have any other, what we call it? Uh, explanation about this we can see the monochrome scale as well and separating the you know black and white and stuff like that and you know blah 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 now there's another image that looks very similar right now you can actually see the hue you can actually see like i said a family of group of colors and some of them have some really color balances you know it, they look like one of these pastel colors you know like these colorful like light lighter colors but you know they look pretty cool to be honest okay there's another sim image similar to the one that i showed you with the 
it has the the UFO and the, and the swing copter and like that. And this is actually an, another different example. For example, you could actually see two you know two major um, icons, the colors of that, and you know you could actually see a new a new UFO a ship, which is actually that ship looks pretty cool, which is like a hand. And then we got an icon, a ball. And yeah, and we still have the default, um, what I call it, swing copter or swing ball, whatever you want to call it. Floating ball, it's, not, it's actually one of them. So yeah, this is another example of how the color palette looks. Yeah, this, this, it's the same as the other um, original one that I show you. Here's another image example that I found from the Geometry of Discord server as well. It's about the line, the custom line color. You know, the black image of the icon, you know, which every icon has that, obviously. You, we can see a normal section and then option one, it says custom outline color which is actually the glow obviously it is and then option number two would be the custom line colors to change the black color it looks pretty cool but the the fact that you know there's some people that have they can choose like horrible um whatever I, I mean i really don't mind with that to be honest i really don't care but you know the custom line color i really in my opinion i would not choose something like that because i like my con icons the way they are and yeah i know that some people are gonna like it and some people that say that it looks pretty cool and stuff like that and yeah it actually looks pretty cool to be honest in my opinion but you know i said that it, it's not it's, it looks doesn't look cool for me but you know it looks cool it's cool it looks cool for other people but yeah i also want to show you another icon and ship that will be added in 2.2 as well is this new like this new caterpillar um ship which actually looks pretty funny to be exact and this new icon looks pretty it looks like one of these voodoo dolls to be exact this looks pretty cool but you know it was actually shared into the discord server and speaking about icons, did, did you know that we're going to have a new death mechanic, which is actually pretty cool. I'll show you a little clip. In my opinion, this is actually one of the most coolest things I've ever seen right now. Um, the death effects looks pretty cool. Another thing that I actually like of, 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 of um, most of them as well is this new, you know, like this screen effect that it looks it looks really awesome as well. Now we do not know how it actually going to work the the what do you call it the screen effect, which is actually. Um, that most people want to try and things like that since you know i'm not a level creator but this is actually one of the most coolest things i've ever seen and we can see a new icon by the way which is actually looks pretty you know cute as well after all the screen effect and to put it on geometry it looks pretty cool to be honest it looks really cool you know since like i said i'm not a level creator but you know i want to i want to know how this thing could work and yeah and speaking of screen effects if you guys watch my video about like i don't remember like a few months ago that i did a video about rothtop's new main secret it's menu effects that looks pretty really cool so yeah um i know that most people have never seen this video these the, well they're not videos but well they are but they are but they're clips to be honest there are actually four clips of these now i know that one of them actually had a copyright claim it was actually like an eminem remix of it but you know i don't know why rata decided to put that on, on one of the videos so yeah if you guys do not know what i'm talking about it's because similar to the one of the death effect it has like this green effect um they they Rotov added like a new like main menu effects which it actually was pretty cool let me show you some clips really quick this is the role between me and myself Now, when I first saw these clips, I, I didn't understand why it doesn't have the the little play button, you know, to play geometry as levels. But I really didn't know what was going on with this. But you know, I mean, the screen effects they look pretty cool to be honest. But yeah, I really don't understand why it doesn't have like the little um the little play button. But yeah, and some of them I didn't I didn't even notice um on these videos is because they they show like these some some new icons as well that i've never seen before i'm too lazy to edit the videos and to zoom it out a little quickly because i'm too lazy but yeah and speaking about icons did you know i'm gonna be showing you some more icons well they are because some of these icons are actually pretty cool for example like this first one it has looks it looks like one of these geometrical you know icons which is actually pretty cool and by the way the first um like section um it's like to change the textures, I'm pre I believe, because like, I don't know, people say it, it's like, dude, you can actually change the textures and things like that, which is actually going to be something in the future, but yeah. The second one is actually like a fist, and actually it looks pretty cool to be honest, I like that one, but I'm not going to change my icons because I wish, but no, I can't. Because this is something that I like to do for my logo and things like that, so yeah. The third one looks pretty cool, 
to be honest. It actually has like like two sticks. Like well, it's like an X, but yeah. Next icon, it looks like it looks like it, sh it looks like a shape of a hourglass. To be honest, I have no idea for this, but yeah. The next icon is actually pretty cool. This is like a robot. I think it looks like the one from uh from Portal. If I'm correct, I don't even know because you know I don't I never played Portal of or anything. I never see anything about it but yeah okay this one is actually grab my attention the most um this is actually this is actually pretty cool but i do not know what it could actually be it looks like a ball or an icon it could actually be an icon to be honest i don't think of a ball because a ball would be like way different but i think that's an icon tell me in the comments what you guys think or do you think this is like an icon or a ball i really in my opinion i don't know what it could be to be honest okay this is actually grabbed my attention the most as well this is like a like a like a like a um rifle which is actually pretty cool to be honest you could actually see the texas of it and you know the shadings well there's actually some shadings of it on the top but yeah the glow looks good to be honest it looks like a real you know a rifle and you know that looks pretty cool and we actually see the square it's like a layout of how it how it actually going to look like when the icons on the ship but yeah the ball looks pretty pretty cool to be to be exact i like the 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 red one it kind of looks match the yellow and the orange it looks it, it matched perfectly so yeah, this is actually pretty cool. This is how it looks like. And yeah. Okay, next icon is actually like a robot. Like a mini tiny robot. So yeah. I like how it actually has some diff different colors of them. But I don't know. I do not know why there's two of them. But yeah. Well, the reason why they have two of them is because it's just like the blending color and the one with no blending. I think that's going to be a new option in Geometry Dash. You know, to have blending colors. Like, you know, that would be kind of cool to be honest. It's like, if even icons with no, like... Um, blending colors for example like my back on track icon it would actually looks pretty cool if it had like shading colors but this one looks pretty cool to be honest in my opinion next icon is pretty cool this is like a cyclops like a octopus type and this one actually looks pretty cool to be honest i like i'm, I'm such a big fan of these type of creatures like that like myth creatures you know it looks pretty cool but yeah i like the blending colors as well it looks very cool i like the little eyeball with just just you know everything is just white i think we haven't i think we, we might have a feature that you could actually change like like anything that has white color that you cannot change it i think we have might we, we might have that feature we do not know but hopefully let's check and speaking about icons i didn't know there was actually like an icon contest um to be honest because i know that we had one back in 2.11 if i'm correct because you know there were some icons that, that that won but never made it into the game for example like this cat icon that i you know that never made it into the game but you know it, it, it won but it never made it and there's some other few icons not just the only cat icon but yeah there's some others that never made it into the game but yeah as you can see the icons in here there's not only icons but there's like balls and and a spider the spider looks pretty okay it's like a star shape on on the face but yeah the icon of where it says um a rix or uh, i rix um it looks pretty cool to be honest i don't know if that could actually be a ball or an icon because there, there's i know there's some icons that look like like ball shape but i do not know but yeah part two this one actually looks pretty cool to be honest um the icons here look pretty cool i like the dolphin um ship look, which actually looks pretty cool the carrot one looks pretty creative to be honest and the shark um like a type rocket shape thing it looks pretty cool to be honest it looks pretty cool it looks very very awesome all right this is actually the the image that grabbed me the attention the most it's actually like a, a like a magma bound um um place and this actually looks really really awesome um i like the icon from created by king tony it looks like a game boy shape um which is actually pretty cool the lake was actually like a fireball thing i would actually change that to be honest but no but you know i mean i i, I mean i still change it but you know if there's some better ways then i might change the wave so yeah content results part four this is actually looks really awesome they got my attention the most as you can see we can actually see on the top left um rob top and vipin that's the reference i think and you actually see the ultra violence robot i think it's called domination if i'm correct actually looks amazing i like the art and yeah i like the among us icon which is actually pretty cool to be honest it, it, it's it, it's it's really it really fits perfectly into the game i don't know but you know and then we have another among us like but it's like a swing copter mode if you can see like in the like a, um bottom left corner so yeah it looks pretty cool to be to be honest this is how it looks like in full image in the map it looks awesome like amazing to be honest they look amazing I, I really love it and you know I'm, I'm such a big fan of these type of styles of how the map looks right now it looks amazing to be honest not gonna lie it looks awesome now in the two next images these are some 
some images that I've never seen before. To be honest, I've never seen those. It's going to be a new collection of shards. Not about icons. Yeah, I talk about too many about icons. But yeah. Um, shards, we're going to have uh, another section of power shards. But yeah. Next one is like a earth shard. And this one is called metal shards, blood shards. But, you know, I don't know how, how the icons are going to work. But I'm pretty sure the hundreds are actually like the, you know, like the death effects that we have in the game right now. And then we have light shards soul shards and then bonus shards now the bonus shards i'm pretty sure it's not like collect all the shards in one like you know it's supposed to be like the new shards like in in like a new different bonus you know it, i don't know i don't know how i don't know how it's going to be but they actually look pretty cool to be honest they look pretty cool to be honest yeah like i said they look pretty cool and yeah and i'm i just hate collecting shards farming for shards is just the worst thing i, I could imagine to be honest <laughs> it's actually the worst thing ever it's like a nightmare like a full nightmare in my brain now i'm pretty sure in 2.2 about you know i don't know if you guys remember like back then and back then and back then and like in 2.1 if i'm correct like about people saying that about is yamashi guys 2.2 is going to have a multiplayer well i really do not know to be honest and they added like this image called the versus now the versus like i said i really do not know how this is going to work how the function is like it's like it's like to compete or something or like like multiplayer i really do not know how this is actually going to work but if it says multiplayer then yeah it'll be a lot easier to say it's a multiplayer but versus i really do not what it could actually be i think some sort of like um like a high score thing to beat someone's high score or something like that i really do not know what it could actually be or how it's going to work but yeah i really don't have anything to say about this but it looks it looks amazing with the swords and everything like that with the earth yeah I'm going to be showing you another three images. Now, I, I know that most people, I, I think, or I, I know that most people have never seen these images before. It's about the new difficulty, um, like the feature things. Well, it's not a difficulty, but it's like a feature, like how it looks going to look like. For example, the first image, we can actually see the easy difficulty and the normal difficulty. It says, in the section low, it says, normal, featured, epic, legendary, and godlike. Now I know that I know a word got like to be honest, but yeah, I know that since a long time ago. I like the new um, faces on um, got like, and to be honest, they look pretty awesome. Like they look very, very insane with you know how the the feature is going. Like it looks like, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's gonna be very hard to get any of these features like this, and and yeah, that would be very difficult to get. I wouldn't, in my opinion, but yeah. All right, this is like another example, but this one looks a little bit different about the easy difficulty this is an example of the easy difficulty as you can see in the god like we don't have the little like the different phase that was that we see that we saw right now in the first image but this is actually some new different auras of how they look like this one looks like some sort of like some more effects on on the bottom of the difficulty um um easy easy difficulty but yeah and there's another one but this actually looks a little little uh, it looks it looks it looks the same as the first image that we look right now but this one has like a negative color on the god like on the easy difficulty and yeah this is actually how it looks like and yeah that looks really really different to be honest and yeah that looks that looks very way different and i don't know how these things could work but you know now i know that raw top is still working on 2.2 because you know in my opinion in 2.2 you know i'm pretty sure that's going to be a big update into this game probably like the first big update i know there's been a lot of big updates in the past but i'm i'm pretty sure 2.2 would actually be one of the coolest or big updates ever in the geometry dash community history i guess and we do not have a release date for 2.2 i know that people keep saying that when 2.2 is going to be out and uh, we we do not have a release date yet i know that rotop is very busy but i you know i just just give the man some 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 time all right just give just give the man some time and yeah that's all we can do right now all we can do is just wait i know that we have been waiting this update for like for years and yeah and i know that it's been tired for all of us and yeah i'm kind of tired of waiting and stuff like that and, and i don't know i know a lot of people would said that but yeah like i was about to say right now that's going to be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it now tell me what you guys think about this video because you know i spend a lot of time editing the video and stuff like that um i do like take breaks of you know stopping and doing the voice and stuff like that so yeah now if you guys are new be sure to click subscribe to become part of the geek squad to miss any videos i upload my name is Joy Ryder. That's a goodbye.